Hey, 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 fish heads. Good morning, TGIF. Happy Friday. Wait a minute. You guys aren't watching this on Friday. What is going on? Well, thanks to technology and the beauty of scheduled uploading with YouTube, you guys are going to be watching this probably on Monday or Tuesday when I schedule it. And I am right here while you guys are watching it. So, we want to get you guys through the rest of your work week. So here's what's going on in Jekyll Bates. Just a few things to finish up I want you guys to see. Let's start out with this lovely S-crank. This is Jets and Lure Eyes. We've got that blue underlayer fading down. This is on the S-crank holographic. A little bit of sand on the bottom of it. Lilac snake eyes, lizard eyes, reptile eyes, call them what you want. And you can definitely see that holographic. These are dingers. Uh, it's the only S crank you're ever going to see me use unless it's a mega bass. Pressed from a mega bass mold. Fights the same, swims the same, wobbles the same, weighs the same roughly. Uh, maybe uh, 0 0.05 ounces off, but not much. And uh, the same famous bill. Dives to about five feet. And it's a great bait. Celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness. This is the Jekyll Baits Commemorative 2018 October Bait. All you lady anglers out there or fellas that want to support breast cancer awareness, this is your bait. It is mostly pink on the underlayer. And then we've got some iridescence purple, dark blues, and some turquoise in here. Got those crazy walleye chrome eyes. Also, I believe from Dinger. And this is in a 2.5 rattling square bill with weight transfer. It's October. You know what that means. Gotta have some stated decay baits. This is the Halloween theme from Jekyll Baits this month. We got all kinds of themed stuff going out. Zombie green eyes, decomposed layering, just a fun bait all around, fun to make. Yes, you can throw it. You should throw it. You should throw my baits. Don't put them on a shelf somewhere, folks. That's not what I intended them for. There you go. Happy Halloween. Right here from Jekyll. 2.5, rattling weight transfer, press from a Lucky Craft. The Autumn Gill. This is in a two, or I'm sorry, it's a 120 SP with weight transfer from Schultz. This is not the dinger. You can tell the difference in the eyes, and I've said before many, many times that uh, uh, the eyes and, and the weight and the swimmability is much closer with dinger. But I've been playing around with these a little bit, and I found that if you epoxy these first to add just a little bit of weight, and then spray and epoxy again, you can get that to suspend the way these baits are intended to do. So just a little extra. You could probably also put some suspend dots on here, but this is in that autumn gill with that black underlayer crackle and the scaling done with that Doris wire mesh. And you think of autumn when you think about this bait because of the colors. Think about those leaves changing. And that is what's happening at Jekyll Bates this time of the week on Friday. Well, Tuesday for you guys. Friday for me. Drat the Rat. This is the red eye version. And the black version. That white belly fur. Little claws. Got some ears. Pretty decent detailing. And that traditional mouse field mouse fur pattern. Let's see if I can say that five times straight. Field mouse fur pattern. A very similar autumn gill. Blue eyed edition. Old blue eyes. It's going to be headed down to 
Texas this weekend. Get that stuff out to RJ. Love, love, love this particular lipless. Uh, it's got metal BBs in it, which is a big plus for me. Don't like the plastic sounds ever at all. This is a deep pumpkin seed, folks. Again, on that Dinger S. You've got a blue underlayer on this bait, fading back to a yellow underlayer, and you've got that hot orange, that fluorescent orange on the bottom. And you've got some deep blues and purples fading back to a green. You've got that classic pumpkin seed mix of the orange and blue on the face. And then, everybody's been talking about this one. I posted a picture of this, and we'll do it again. This is the crappie. And that 1.5, I love this pattern of holographic. You can actually get the, the foil itself a couple of different places. I usually get it from Lure Parts Online, although I gotta admit, I'm not real happy with Lure Parts Online right now, and I, I need to vent just for a couple of seconds on it. Um, I ordered some stuff, and I've been ordering from them I, probably once a month. I get some stuff from there. And uh, I used to live uh, way, way, way cross country in Maryland. Most of you guys know that. I'm from Maryland. Living in Arkansas now with the family. And <clears throat> this is just a cool bait. Anyways, um, so I ordered a bunch of stuff from them. They sent it to my old address in Maryland. I called them. I said, hey, you know, you've sent me other stuff. To Jonesboro um, about once a month and I don't know what happened so they hemmed and hawed and said they'll correct it they're gonna ship me out another package and they did but they shipped it to Maryland again I have since lost a customer um, because it took too long to get the stuff finished for them and I'm out the money thus far and I even fired off an email to him I called him um, nothing 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 so I won't be able to really address the issue until I get back on the following Thursday, but super not happy with you guys. And I think that you should always applaud customer service when it's good, and usually they are, but you also need to talk about it when it's not because you got to fix that kind of stuff because customer service, folks, y'all are the reason that we do what we do. Maybe I could get that to... Anyways, you can see the bait. I don't know why it's not focusing, but it sure isn't. But those are the crappies on the uh, pre-foiled. And then we also have them in the Dinger LJMD 50s. And that's all going out for the customer. Man, what's going on with the focus here, folks? There you go. Now you can see it. A lot of folks ask me where they get the eyes. Where can I get eyes? You know what I do? I take an exacto knife and I cut them in half. Now, the LJ MD50s, you can get the clear ones from Spro, and a lot of my customers would prefer to have uh, the actual brand names than the replicas. These, these are pretty good. The silence are good, weighted well, um, and then these, obviously, are the rattling. It's got a good rattle in it. It weighs about the same, trolls about the same, seven to nine feet six or seven millimeter eyes you just cut one in half and you try and make sure that you cut it exactly in half or it's going to look all cattywampus and you don't want that but that's how i do the eyes and then the last thing just did this this is the last bait that we've done and i think i posted a couple pictures of this earlier today so there you have it this is the juvenile um, snakehead pattern, I'm sorry to say snakeskin, but uh, snakeheads fish look like boas. They have that, that boa snakeskin pattern. So I don't have the proper stencil for that. Um, I would like to get the proper stencil. So um, hopefully I can get a little bit better at this pattern. But I like the coloration on it. I like everything else about it. I just wish that I had a better pattern on here. But that's the juice to get you through the weekend, although you guys are probably seeing this after the weekend. So thanks for hanging out with Jekyll Bates for a little bit. Hope you guys have a great weekend, or I'm sorry, this is scheduled, so hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, smash that thumbs up button. 
hit me up for Patreon. Always appreciate the support so I can continue to bring you fresh content on a weekly basis and teach you what I do over there at the spray bench. See you guys. Have a great weekend and or week, depending on when this uploads. Probably scheduled for Tuesday. Thanks, guys. See ya. Happy casting.